This is why we do it. Massive XP and loads of exotics. The golden bullet is live. And today I bring you nine builds that you can use right now. And I got your tips and tricks and everything you need to know to reap massive rewards from this global event. So here we are, the tail end of season three, year five, and the golden bullet is live. So to get to it, go to your seasons menu and then click on the golden bullet. You have to activate it down below. When the golden bullet is active, every time you level up, you earn red stars. You also earn red stars by completing these challenges as well. And those red stars go towards this mini rewards track, which includes two exotics at the end of it. Those red stars also accumulate as a form of currency. You can use those red stars here at the season vendor that is only open when a global event is active. And it allows you to buy named item caches, exotic caches, and more. So one SHD level equals one red star. So if you want a lot of exotics, then you need a lot of stars. And that means you need lots of XP. So you want to clear a lot of content per hour to do that. And if you can run global directives, then you're going to get boosted XP. It's 25% boosted XP per directive, allowing up to five directives for 125% total XP boost to every activity that you do. So ideally what you're looking for are builds that allow you to run as many directives as possible without slowing you down. And that's possible with the right build. So certain builds do better with directives than others. And today all the builds that I'm bringing you can run at least four directives, if not five. And for practical reasons, I made sure that these builds don't only work just for the golden bullet. They will work when the golden bullet global event isn't here as well. The reason why that's important is because you have to earn the golden bullet. See, you don't automatically come with the golden bullet buff. Well, what is the golden bullet buff? Well, I'm glad you asked. All cells in the field can construct these golden bullets. They'll have an icon on their head with the progress bar when they're doing so. And when they have the golden bullet, you'll see that golden beam coming out of their weapon. Whether it's in progress or they have it, if you kill the enemy, now you have the golden bullet. It lasts for about five seconds, but every kill you get is gonna refresh that golden bullet. So you can have it perpetually forever. And by forever, I mean up until the activity you're doing ends. So the golden bullet gives you some amazing damage, RPMs, weapon handling, and this is the best part. Every kill you get is gonna reload your magazine. And like I said, extend the timer on that golden bullet. And so not having to reload your weapon is absolutely amazing and the rpm boost feels really good you can play into any one of these effects any one of these buffs my favorite part is the auto reload and that's great for those weapons that are super strong but that have horrible reloads lmgs think of maybe some sniper rifles and definitely a lot of those strong shotguns. So I've included the full gambit here. You're gonna see SMG builds, assault rifle builds, hybrid builds, specialization weapon builds, status effect builds, LMG builds, sniper builds, crit based shotgun builds, and very strong one shot <laughs> kill so shotgun fast. builds. tips and tricks for the golden bullet that you're gonna need to be successful. Like I recommended, you wanna run as many directives as possible. One of those directives is gonna be a skill-based directive, something that's gonna affect your skill cooldown. In our case, we have scavenge skills, which drops those little green things you gotta pick up once your skill goes down on cooldown. Anyway, so you wanna think through what skills you are using. Skills that have shorter cooldowns and durations tend to need less of those green things to bring them back. So that's why I choose the decoy and or the fixer drone as much as possible. Second you don't want to use a shield because it'll basically become useless because you can only use it once and once you put it away it's gone and plus shields really slow you down and when you're running directives you want to be fast and nimble so stay away from shields and good thing for you all the builds i have for you today are shieldless with the survivability you need in each one of the builds i'm providing a recommendation on what difficulty and how many directives the build performs best with. Sometimes during Golden Bullet, there is an immunity glitch, usually with the higher RPM weapons. If that happens, the best thing you can do is just manually reload that weapon and it should fix it. Sharpshooter or the Nemesis is a really good thing to have equipped to your build. That's because if you see a Golden Bullet guy at range, you can pick him off and steal that Golden Bullet with a single shot. That's why you're gonna see Sharpshooter on a lot of my builds. Here's another tip. I must say that Golden Bullet isn't the best for group play. It definitely works for group play, and I do play in group with it. One of the downsides of it is that it gets competitive because once somebody gets that Golden Bullet, whoever gets it first, makes it really hard for anybody else to get the Golden Bullet just because they are so strong that they're killing everything. 
and even if you start to shoot at somebody if they come by they're just gonna snag that kill from you and they're gonna be doing that because they're trying to keep their golden bullet alive and they have to get a kill every five seconds so it gets very competitive for kills and that makes it difficult and sometimes not fun in group gameplay that being said if you are gonna play in a group think about builds that have range like sniper builds or rifle builds because if you can snag that golden bullet at distance then you can be that guy that's annoying everybody else because you're slaying things here's something that a lot of people don't realize until it's too late there's a way to refresh your golden bullet without actually killing somebody and it has to do with your skills and that's why i run my decoy and the fixer so when the skill is destroyed whether you do it or it times out or an enemy destroys it then you're gonna refresh the golden bullet so when i'm running from engagement to engagement and i want to maintain my golden bullet what i do is i drop my decoy and then i immediately crush it and if i still need more time then i'll deploy my drone and immediately crush it to buy more time so that means builds that do not rely heavily on skills are extremely powerful with golden bullet because you can use your skills just for the purpose of refreshing your duration for golden bullet here's another tip you want your build to already be strong and that's why i'm providing you builds that work whether the golden bullet global event is active or not that's because you got to earn that golden bullet and sometimes you're competing for that golden bullet and that means you need to already have sufficient damage to get competent kills you don't want to feel like crap when your golden bullet expires or when you're trying to earn it we're going to start off with my favorite and go to xp farm build in the game there's a lot to this build and why it works so i'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the description area so you can watch a more detailed video on this build and the mechanics that come with it and some alternate ways you can run it if you're a new player but this build works for just about every global event or when there aren't global events you're going to want to run sharpshooter it's all about the 1886 you don't have to have expertise but i do recommend investing expertise on this build if there's one build to do it to it's this one for me anyways the 1886 i got reload speed here this is basically a rifle that hits almost as hard as a sniper the damage looks low but keep in mind i'm running tons of armor i have almost 2 million in armor on this build damage the targets out of cover and go with determined so after killing an enemy with a headshot the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot so this is a headshot build that turns into a body shot build so if you think you suck at headshots don't worry you only need to headshots and then from there it's all bodies for the backup i do recommend a strong sniper i use the nemesis and i use it mostly against bosses and then a really good pistol the d50 with determined because you need to earn ammo at least once and then from there you'll be okay sharpshooter because you want the headshot damage and it also regenerates ammo when you're playing from cover but mostly i like having that tac 50 at my disposal the gear set is hunter's fury we don't care about the first buff but we are getting that 20 percent armor on kill and amplified damage from apex predator that stacks as well as a debuff which staggers enemies around you as you're killing somebody in their group i have armor and headshot damage that's the equation armor and headshot damage and then protection from elites here are the gloves the knees and last the holster the chest piece is palisades for another 10 percent armor on kill which is crazy that gives us 30 percent armor on kill standard but do we need 30 percent armor on kill we don't but i also don't need any more damage or anything i'm one shot killing everything but if you're struggling on your stats look towards providence you could also go overlord here headshot damage weapon handling more protection from elites headhunter you must get headhunter it's for that 1250 percent damage cap based on your last headshot killing blow this allows you to chain kill over and over again but what's important is you have 150 percent headshot damage on your build which i do i have 155 percent headshot damage but if you're struggling to get that for some reason take off your protection from elites and put on more headshot damage or like i said run providence here for more headshot damage instead of palisades so much defense it's insane so we're running the memento and the main reason why is for the bonus armor this is giving a 60 percent bonus armor on kill when you grab a trophy that's a single trophy that's 1.2 million in bonus armor from one trophy and you can stack those so our armor gets like crazy big and then you're also getting armor regen more damage and skill efficiency really good stuff here and i have the headshot damage mod on this one i run the decoy with this build and the fixer there are mechanics to this build i recommend taking your first headshot kill with your tac 50 or your nemesis once you get that then switch over to your 1886 rifle get another headshot kill just to activate determined 
and then you can go on the body from that point forward. We got a lot to get through, so I'm not gonna go any further in depth on this build. If you need more instructions on how the mechanics work and stuff like that, definitely check out this video when you get a sec. And so, this, so even if they release the gear set as it is, it's still got some potential for some pretty cool builds, but I do hope that they, uh, that they increase the damage. There it is. Okay, so there's our build. So now we're using a tactical vector. So I've shifted things around. The tactical vector, again, best burst DPS. It's got crazy RPMs. A small mag, but we're not worried about that because we got the free reload. Fast reload time anyways. And then now we have killer. So we got a damage talent there. We could still go preservation on this if we wanted to. So we got 10% armor on kill coming from the chest. And then we're still running obliterate. And now I have protection from elites, even helping us stay out of cover longer without a shield. And we don't want a shield because we're running four directives. And one of those is the skill directive. And then we got another 10% armor on kill here. So we got 20% effective armor on kill, which is as good as the base of Hunter's Fury. But then we're running the Memento that's giving us 50% bonus armor on kill plus 3% armor regen. So that's a lot of defense. And then we got Striker giving us the weapon handling rate of fire and then 100 stacks of amplified damage. We got crits everywhere with protection from elite. So this is what all the Striker looks like. Crits, crits, really easy build to make. Should probably have this one already. Yeah, let's go give it a try. <laughs> that reload is so fast. Okay, here's this skill build that doesn't look like a skill build. So I'm running gunner so that we can get that 10% armor on kill. Also ammo, very helpful. This one's built around the mechanical animal. Pretty cool gun. So I got crit mods here and I really like the stability mod. Try that. 20 rounds. I have health damage, damage targets out of cover. And this comes with future perfection. So weapon kills will give you one skill tier for 19 seconds, and that stacks up to four times, which means you only need two skill tiers otherwise on your build. And if you have that, you have a full six skill tiers. That allows you to go into overcharge every 90 seconds, which is pretty cool. And that's what this build does. I'm running four pieces of striker. We got four red cores, two blue cores, and then two yellow cores on the build. So striker gives us handling rate of fire and amplified damage. I have a skill tier on the mask crit damage and crit chance. And the gloves are weapon damage and crit chance. The knees are weapon damage and crit chance. And the holster is basically the same weapon damage and crit chance. The chest piece I went with palisades, I have crits, armor, and obliterate. And that requires you to have high crit chance in order to get that damage for 10 seconds. And then we have the memento, which is giving us three cores, one of which is a skill tier. And this also gives us bonus armor up to 20% on kill. When we grab a trophy, we're gonna get 30% weapon damage, 3% armor regen, and 30% skill efficiency, which has everything you need for your skills to be successful. We're at 60% crit chance and 70% crit damage. Make sure you get your crit chance as high as you can because of your chest talent. And that's gonna make it really easy for you to maintain your future perfection stack. So you're gonna be running around with four red cores and six skill tiers and then overcharge every now and again. This is a great play from cover build. You got really good reach with your skills and I'm using the assault turret and the striker drone. Okay, so here's the LMG build, and I'm running Gunner. This will give you 10% armor on kill and ammo. Now, I'm featuring the Iron Lung. It's got a nice RPM, 85 round mag, which isn't the biggest. Damage to armor, damage to targets out of cover, and catch fools on fire. And then you got the auto reload thing happening. So the reload issue isn't an issue. And then we got Negotiators is what we're running here. So you can damage multiple enemies at the same time. That's what this does. So it's a crit build. It's based on crits. Critical hits mark enemies for 20 seconds, up to three marks. And then when you critically hit that marked enemy, all marked enemies take 60% of that damage. And then on kill, you get 2% critical hit damage stacking up to 20 times. So you wanna get your crit chance as high as possible. And I'm just kind of making do with the negotiator pieces that I have right now. So right now I have 53, 141, and then we're gonna get another 40% crit damage. So that pushes us to one 80 and then my crit chance is a little low so try to fix yours i just don't have all the pieces i need to do that and then the backpack you want to run if you can i really like it, it increases hostile negotiations damage from 60 to 100 percent so all three targets are taking 100 percent damage at the same time it's a really nice way to clear control points or even legendary weapon damage crit damage weapon damage crit chance 
on the chest i'm running palisades to give us a total of 20 percent armor on kill now armor crits and then obliterate and then i'm running the lmg gloves contractors for damage to armor more crits and lmg damage all right Oh, yeah, that's the way to go. Okay, so this is our status effect build. And actually, it's one of the best XP farm builds in the game. So if you really need XP, you're really farming up that watch, then this is the way to go. What you're going to want to do with this one is pump it to five directives and then drop down the game mode to challenging so that you ensure you burn through everybody as fast as possible. You're going to want to run the flamethrower. That's going to be important here because we're really going to be using that a lot. And then we got the Scorpio shotgun as more of a backup. We got the test subject with perfect and sync more as a backup, but we're really going to be driving in with the TDI card custom here, pistol. That gives us an extra skill tier. And since we're running all five directives, we don't have to worry about ammo with this thing. And then I have in sync for more skill and weapon damage. I'm running the vile exotic for toxic delivery which is a damage debuff over time driven by status effects and explosive damage goes well with this gear set we're running eclipse and the backpack is just amplified damage so it actually amplifies that toxic delivery when the enemy is under a status effect and otherwise eclipse gives a status effect skill haste hazard protection and then indirect transmission when i put the right piece on status effect and skill haste everywhere and so here's the glove with status effects knees with status effects also and then i'm running the chest piece because that's giving us the ability to get more range out of our our transmission of status effects so there's that and then i'm running the picard's holster you can also do golan and you could also do electric those are actually really good options but more status effects would actually give you more damage and this is just giving me more skill haste nothing wrong with this but if you went with the status effect one you'd get more damage out of your build i use the fire cam more as a backup the sticky is enough and then the flamethrower to finish everybody off so what you're going to want to do is go to these public executions Hit one of these bad boys. Watch them all die. That's what you want to do right there. Okay, so again, I got my pistol in my hand and then you hit him with your sticky by double tapping. And then you kind of get to know where the other spawns are. So that's why I'm running over here because I already know they're going to come out of here. You learn this because you start doing the same ones over and over and over. So here's one of my favorite builds for the Golden Bullet. This is a TAC-50 build. It's all about having unlimited TAC-50 ammo. The base here is at 2.6 million before Golden Bullet, and we're gonna have that auto reload, and you got a very far reach. It's gonna be very fun. I got 20 expertise on mine. For your other weapons, just go with whatever you feel like, but having at least one sniper as a backup is a good idea. Four pieces of tip of spear for more signature weapon damage, but also to ensure you have a base of specialization ammo. Tip of spear is gonna give you a stronger specialization weapon, stronger weapon damage to everything, and then aggressive recon. So getting a signature weapon kill gives 50 percent more damage for 10 seconds and then you get reload speed and then you automatically regenerate around every 60 seconds and then i just have headshot damage everywhere you can run more armor if you like too because you're gonna be pretty strong but we're playing from cover then uh the backpack is gonna supply us with bonus armor on kill uh, blood sucker is great for that if you're not leaving your cover which is nice and so this is a habsburg for more headshot damage and then handling and headshot damage and then the chest piece is walker so that I'm getting uh, more damage to that signature weapon. Perfect Headhunter, which is allowing us to chain kill like a beast. That's wise, if we look at the TAC-50, we're at 322% headshot damage. Okay, so here's a sniper build and you know, these are really good for just about every global event or general XP farming because you can run all five directives. You're not really reliant on any one skill, nor are you reliant on a ton of ammo and you regenerate ammo. So it caters to clearing control points quickly from a single spot and allowing you to run all directives, even in heroic. 
So you're gonna wanna run Sharpshooter. Gives you that attack 50, but the ammo regeneration, more headshot damage, and it gives you a better scope, which is this digital scope here. And then I'm running the M700 Carbon. Go with whatever you feel comfortable with, but I really enjoy this weapon. It's a good one. Plus five rounds, reload speed, and stability. And then we got 12 in the mag there, and then Determined, which allows me to chain kill to the body and play really quickly. But remember, 12 in a mag, and you have an unlimited mag thanks to Golden Bullet. So that's why it makes snipers even more fun during this event. Backup, I'm using Nemesis, doesn't really matter. You're gonna need to get uh, a little bit of ammo to start. So imagine using your pistol to do that with Determined. And then I'm running four pieces of Hot Shot, Marksman Rifle, Weapon Handling, Headshot Damage, and then Headache, which is gonna give you armor on kill, bonus armor on kill, more damage, and also auto refill your mag. So you don't even really need that, but it's there <laughs> either way. We're running Headshot Damage everywhere. As you can see, so good. On the chest, you're gonna definitely want to make sure you got Headhunter there, Headshot Damage and Weapon Handling, and then Palisades is what I chose so I can have some armor on kill. So this with the gear set is gonna help us out with our survivability. Backpack, I'm running in the Habsburg again, and it's got Bloodsucker for shielding. Skills, I got the decoy and the fixer, and we're good to go. Let's go kick butt. Body shots, that's a body shot right there, right? But yeah, so just get good at landing too. It's a boss. So here's our shotgun build, and it doesn't look like a shotgun build. I get that. So we're running Heartbreaker so that we get tons of bonus armor. The ACS shotgun is really fun with the golden bullet. It doesn't have to be the rock and roll. This gives us an extended mag, also very useful. Damage to target set of cover, damage to armor. And then I got the laser pointer here so we can stack easily for the Heartbreaker gear set and then crit chance. Pretty cool shotgun, very fun for this game mode. Then just want whatever you want to back up. Now Heartbreaker is insane, so don't worry about the assault rifle LMG, but we got weapon handling and then heart stoppers can give us 50 stacks of bonus armor and weapon damage then i have armor and crits here and then this is going to double the stacks to 100 stacks of weapon damage and bonus armor and then i'm running the backpack which is going to double the bonus armor so 100 stacks of weapon damage 200 bonus armor 100 stacks but it'll double that to 200 bonus armor so we got armor and protection from elites on this one and crit chance so protection from elites is going to help us go shieldless more weapon damage and crit chance for the gloves the holster is armor and crit chance and then the knees Steady armor on kill at 10%, weapon damage, and double crits. And then I'm running the Coyote for that upfront 25% critical hit damage. Um, you have lots of options here if you decide you don't want to run that. And then I'm running the decoy and just the standard fixer technician, so I get access to the laser pointer, and it gives me a skill tier. Okay, so here's my traditional shotgun build, and I make mine to go for headshots so we can one-shot kill everything. Military, M870, but because we're gonna run shieldless, remember we're running four directives, and so we got that special ammo directive, so you can be bleeding and slowing down a lot. So survivability is gonna be really cool here. We got the Memento kicking in 50% bonus armor on kill, the Hunter's Fury giving us 20% armor on kill, and then because we don't need damage, I decided to just go for preservation. You can go for pummel, but you also don't need reloads. Just a pretty heavy hitting build i decided to go with providence so that we hit the 150 percent headshot damage mark and then i got a little bit of protection from elites up here but otherwise i'm running hunter's fury with headshot damage everywhere lots of armor make sure your shotgun's at 150. So we're also gonna be getting 3% armor regen from our backpack. So we, we should have a ton of survivability here. But see, the thing is you're gonna need it. You're gonna need a little bit more of a shotgun builds because they make you play a lot more closer in range than oh, you, SMGs and the reloads are horrendous. So, but what's really cool about this build too, I'll show you here in a second. So you can use your TAC 50 to kick off the fight and then switch over. And so you can get that golden bullet at range and then start your fight off with the golden bullet. Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito, and this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in The Division 2. And if you like builds like this, check out the recommended build video I have here for you. If you have anything you want to see covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible. Tux Nation wouldn't be without you. When you buy a game from Ubisoft, enter the creator code Tuxedo Bandito to support the channel. Easy peasy.
Follow me. I get it.